In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble this, which is the dust shoe to my CNC machine which I've designed, and that's called the Moot One, and this is the first draft of the manual. It fits onto the bottom section of the 80mm spindle and is tightened into place using a machine screw. The brushes can be interchanged with various lengths of bristle, but more importantly the brush section comes in two parts. This makes accessing a little easier on smaller CNC machines, or if the Z-axis has not lifted fully. Uh, this is modular, so essentially I can reprint this section here if I want to change the mounting type to a particular dust hose. In the manual, and bear in mind this is a draft, so there's lots of red in places. And you can see a diagram here, with the assembly, the parts, and what it would look like on the machine over here. So, I've already fitted one mounted magnet, and I'm now going to fit the rest. I have to make sure that the magnet faces the same direction so the faces attract to each other. You can either push fit them by hand, push it in place with your own weight on the flat surface, or use a clamp. Or even a vise. That one's coming out. So I'm just going to put a bit of super glue in, I'm not sure what happened there. If the fit is not super tight, you can always use a little bit of super glue to hold the magnet into place. I'm now cutting the flexible brush to roughly 190 millimeters long, after which I'll push fit these into the grooves of the appropriate sections. You may want to do a test print to make sure they're not too tight. Mine were tight and I had to use the long nose pliers to force them into place, but an easier option would have been to resize the groove a little larger and use super glue to keep the brushes in. I am now placing the clamping machine screw into the dust shoe mount and fitting the dust shoe hose adapter. Tighten that up. So the last thing is to just place this on and show you how it would look on one of the machines. I'm going to conclude this video by looking at the 3D model of the different components. This is something I've drawn up in Fusion 360 and as you can see different sections are made as independent components so that they can be 3D printed and then assembled. Depending on what kind of extractor you have you may choose to uh, redesign this section so it fits and in theory I could also change these openings here which are for the magnets uh, depending if there are some variations in what's available. 
something that may not have been clear from the video is the section here where the T nut slots is designed to accept two different type of T nuts. This includes the flat stainless steel variety and the slightly bulkier matchy fit ones. The machine screw would fit through there and this section would tighten against the spindle. I'm going to make the STL files available on my Thingiverse page and the Fusion 360 file available to my patrons who may wish to edit this a little bit. So that's another video made from the stockpiled footage during the lockdown. I've got just enough footage to make one last video and then I really have no excuse but to try and turn my brain on and finish the concluding sections of the manual. Thank you.